Joy Oggs in with her five-week-old lamb. I walked out in the barn, and he was laying in a corner, so I helped him up and noticed he was injured. Joy makes a living off her farm and sells a good share of her lambs to 4-H clubs. But in order to sell for show, these little lammies need to be in tip-top shape. I hope when Dr. Brendick fixes him up that he can be a show lamb yet. I thought he was hurt in the hock. Yeah, but he's not standing well. No, not on this leg, he can't. Okay. The rear leg is swollen. Uh, it starts at just above the hock area. It involves the, the rest of the leg uh, going towards the foot. It doesn't feel broken, but it doesn't feel right either. And it may just be off soft tissue swelling, like infection in there. But I can't tell for sure. All right, here, babe. All right, come with me. What I'd like to do to help us decide what the problem is is take an x-ray. OK, so what I'm looking at um, is the two views we took of the hock area on this well, particular lamb. I think what's happened is he's broken the tarsus, and exactly how he did that, I don't know, probably got stepped on by one of the adults, would be my guess. The break is so severe, he may be unable to walk or face a lifetime of painful arthritis. Then we're sort of down to what are we going to do with him? Um, a Thomas splint probably would be the way to go to try to stabilize that for him. It is disappointing to know that the break is pretty serious. Uh, as my lambs go, this was one of the nicer looking lambs. So yeah, I'm not too happy about it. Show animal, he will not be anymore. Right. Market animal, yes. Market lamb is not what I hoped for him, but that's not a complete loss. I guess we better try. Basically what we're trying to do is make him comfortable, allow that bone to have time to heal, hopefully retaining as much movement in the joint as possible. All right, here, kiddo. Dr. Brenda customizes a splint out of wire and tape to hold the leg in place. It will not probably have full function, but what I'm trying to do is preserve as much function and give him the least amount of arthritis or pain. I know, sweetie. Hopefully what we'll see in three weeks when the slam comes back is that that leg is solid now, uh, that the fracture has healed just giving him a better life. Look at that, hi there. Good boy. I was happy with Dr. Brenda's service. She did what she could do. Alrighty. I was hoping it would turn out better, but that's the life of a farmer, I guess. <laughs>